Hey folks, Darth Alice here once again and just wanted to show you this uh, ROM Coda Saber I just finished and this is my V5 series slimline Coda and this one is for Fokker Chief over on IRA or Imperial Royal Arms Forum. Um, with this Saber what I've done is go per his request and I milled in points into the sides of the hilt itself and inset red sea ray skin did a traditional Suka Ito wrap of black leather traditional crossover style wooden kill key um, front custom shroud and I take a lot of influence on this one from RO of Roland uh, Roland of RO Sabres turbine blade plug um, we've got the Greebly on the top red thumb screw again thin back section vented pommel and this has a full 3D printed chassis from Darth Ryo of Goth 3D uh, 3 Designs. Also what I've got in here is a Prism 3.5 from Plector Labs, Rice Port, 20 millimeter speaker in the back end, actually it's a 23 millimeter, 18650 lithium ion battery by Solos Hold, again with a uh, 2.1 millimeter recharge point port. On the front I've got a tri Cree by Justin Marshall, red, green, royal, blue. So with all of that, let's hear this thing boot up. Now these have a one and a half inch blade pocket. As you can see, I did a solid uh, piece of polycarbonate with a motor winding on the top and everything. So with that, let's pop a blade in this thing. Now one thing that I made sure of on this series of sabers is that I didn't want any kind of switches sticking out. So I perfected a system to be able to mount the switch hats underneath of the Suka Ito into a floating chassis system that I developed over time. The big thing about, that I see about lightsabers is that more and more when you've got a big switch sitting on it like a 12 millimeter that's lighted or non-lighted, to me it kind of looks like a flashlight switch. In my mind, when I look at a lightsaber from any of the movies, canon, non-canon, cartoons, video games, books, any of that, you don't see big honky switches. Most times they're hidden in just the force wielder knows how to operate the saber. So with that, nice bright green. Flash on glass. Blaster. Lock up. And of course with Prism, neat thing about it. The color changing ability. Back to green. It's a nice board. It's not the most sensitive of the ones that I use. Again, when I look at Spark 2 and Igniter, they have a six axis motion uh, motion detector. So it picks up a lot more than this does, even though this is a nice saber, you know, for, for what it is. And it's neat. It has the rice system, so you can plug that in and change colors. So with that, just a nice quick little demonstration. Another font. I realize the sensitivities can be changed on this, but again, I'm just using stock card. I haven't changed fonts. I haven't done anything like that with it. So there we go, folks. Thank you again for watching. And this is Darth Alice once again. And may the Force be with you always.